All right, guys. Um, so the dust is kind of settled here at the office. I uh, I got everybody out. I got um, supposed to have six trucks running right now. I think I've only got four just because uh, two of them were like broke down. One guy had a dead battery. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the other guy. Um, the trucking thing is, it's just a mountain of paperwork. Um, and it's a lot of burden on us, but I wanna, you know, I wanna service my clients. I'm doing everything I can. The margins are very low, um, which I don't care about the money. It's not that, um, but in a business sense, um, being required to come up with, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of $10,000, um, you know, almost daily. It's, uh, it hasn't quite been daily because we, we haven't hit our marks every day. Um, with our load counts so um, it's basically you know when our load counts get up there um, I run out of credit so you know I got a call last night um, they were wanting me to literally I was in the loader uh, working um, they pretty much wanted me to drop what I was doing and bring another even though I've got thirty five hundred dollars credit left out of all the deposits which is now totaled uh, about $28,500 in um, since, since January 18th. So, you know, today's the 24th. Uh, we had one down day. We didn't have a full day of running. So uh, that day, you know, um, was a lost day for us. Pit was closed, uh, supposedly due to weather. That was um, a call that was made by the contractor. They said, you know, weather was bad. It was bad in the morning. It was actually a really nice day uh, other than the morning but um, you know it's water under the bridge but right now the trucking is literally um, it's draining me um, financially mentally um, it's it's just you know it's a tough tough thing to keep up with um, it'd be a lot easier um, you know if the financial burden wasn't so heavy um, I think I could do it but I'm kind of at the point where I might have to throw in the towel um, just because um, they're gonna require me to bring down another deposit and you know it's it's literally like my um, my cash flow is just going down 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 because my clients you know they have it's a bi-weekly to 30-day net on my on my pay and when I've got that kind of money going out every day that's one small portion of what's going out. I mean, the, uh, the, the bulk of what's going out is um, on our labor. You know, we've got a lot of hand labor going on, clearing all these roofs and um, getting all this weight off all these buildings. You know, we're, that's going on like um, all over town. So, um, and it's not cheap to keep that up and running either. So uh, it looks like I'm gonna, I'm going to talk to a private lender um, and see if he can help me, but um, you know, even if he does, it really doesn't make sense for me to keep doing this um, because it's just, it's completely running our business into the ground, um, paying these fees. And uh, even if I did get the loan, um, you know, business wise, it wouldn't make sense. So I'd be just, you know, I'm doing this um, as a service and I know everybody they need this work done, it has to be done. Um, if we get the amounts of snowfall that, that um, you know, has been called for in February and could very well happen, we don't know if it's gonna happen or not, but um, you know, if we don't get the trucking done and get the snow haul, it could be a serious, serious issue for the whole town in February. So um, I'm just doing my best, the best that I can to keep the wheels on this whole entire operation and it's, it's really, really tough. Um, uh, I didn't start this channel to, uh, and it's not about um, this drama. You know, that, that's not what the channel is going to be about. That's uh, it's something that's happening right now. Um, you know, it, life will go on when this is over, and you know, we're going to get back to showing. You know, the whole whole reason the channel started is is it's kind of the life that we live up here mammoth mountain life you know um this is part of it right so i'm gonna show it but um i really want to get back into more of you know what we do 
you know, the fun stuff, being in the mountains, working in the mountains, the lifestyle um, in Mammoth, um, because uh, that's what I fell in love with about this place was the lifestyle. Um, you know, I've always kind of been an outdoors person my whole life. Um, my grandfather and I, um, you know, we did a lot of that kind of stuff when I was younger. And um, so it's, it's in my blood to be, you know, in the mountains and um, being able to work in the mountains. And, uh, you know, basically the, uh, one of the themes up here is, you know, work where you play, right? And I love that thing. And, you know, working up here in the summertime is so much nicer than working in Southern California, right? Because of the heat. Um, but I just wanted to give you kind of a glimpse of what's going on today. Um, it's, it's just having a hard day, you know, and uh, hopefully I think things will get better. Um, I just got to keep pushing forward. I reached out to um, somebody at the town this morning uh, looking for a face-to-face -face meeting. Uh, I have not heard anything from any city official, not the mayor, not, um, not the town manager, not the city attorney, not anybody. I have heard a lot of feedback from other people that have reached out to those folks. And, you know, basically they've defended everything that they're doing. So, you know, that's fine. Um, they can go along with all of this and and they don't see a problem with it. They don't see a problem with a lot of the things they do. Um, that's kind of typical with city officials. So, um, you know, they think what they're doing is, is the way it should be. And, you know, it's actually, it's that's their opinion in the most part. Um, it's their opinion of how it should be. It's not what actually what people want. It's not actually what um, the town needs. It's what one person's opinion and, you know, enforcing, you know, some rules on, on all kinds of levels. And, uh, you know, they don't necessarily take uh, the people's opinion into account on, on a lot of things. And I think that needs to change and I hope it does. And, you know, I want to be a part of making that change because, you know, some of these people just, they don't get it. And, you know, they're not reaching out to me. They're not even trying to talk to me. They, I, I mean, I guess, I don't know if they're um, too good to talk to me or what, but we're going to find out because, you know, I'm, I'm making contact, I'm sending emails and, you know, I just want to, I want to find out why to a lot of these questions. You know, there's a lot of questions that a lot of people have and about a lot of things that's going on and we all just want answers and not not like uh generic answers you know because that's what uh, well, that's what's been given here is a lot of generic answers and there's really no accountability and and that's what i'm going to get to the bottom of and i'm going to try to create some of that for some of these folks because they need to be held accountable for the decisions that they're making so um Bear with me. I'm, I'm not going to be sticking with this drama too much longer. I, I want to get back to just doing the channel and doing the stuff we do. But, you know, it's it's a really tough time for me right now, for me and my family. Uh, my team is working harder than ever to keep this thing going and um, to do the service that we provide. And it's just, uh, it's a lot of work to, to keep the ball rolling here. Um, along with all the other wrenches that have been thrown into the operation. So I hope you guys can appreciate this. Um, I wanted to get it out there, talk to everybody about it. And I want to get some good feedback, hopefully. I'm sure I'll get some bad ones too, but um, that's what this is. This is reality and I want to show the reality. I don't want to, you know, I've heard people talk about me um, putting things, you know, one-sided or um, well, come out in the comments and tell me the other side. You know, I want to I want to hear it and if somebody has a problem with something I've done in the past or the way that I'm doing business, I would love to hear that. Um, you know, I can take constructive criticism, guys. Um, I'm not perfect. I haven't been perfect. I've made mistakes in the past with my business, with, you know, everything I've done. You know, the thing with me is I've always told myself I, I want to learn from these mistakes and right now you know taking on this trucking operation and trying to do all this you know I'm, I'm really seriously thinking that might have been a mistake you know maybe I should have just left it to uh, the other contractors in town but 
Um, I knew that my clients needed a service and they couldn't be put at the back of the line. So that's why I've, I uh, made an effort to get trucks up here. And we've done a lot of trucking. I, I just did my load count. I, I've run over 360 loads. So that's a good thing. That means I've moved a lot of material, you know, for a lot of people. So that's, that's a good thing, but um, there's still so much more to be done. And um, you know, I could do so much more cause that's only about a third of what I've needed to do. And you know, originally I was gonna bring up 15 trucks. So, you know, I've been, you know, kind of stifled down to only operating six. And then, you know, when we have breakdowns and issues, it's even less than that. Um, so, but I think we, with what we've, what we have and what we've done getting you know over 360 loads to date out um, it's been a pretty great effort by my team and myself to get this done so uh, hope you guys can appreciate that I'm gonna get this video out for you and I'll probably get some more stuff of just what's going on throughout the day later but this is kind of something I want to do this morning and just kind of give you guys an update on what's going on with uh, with the trucking. So thanks a bunch and uh, I hope to see some good comments. Good or bad, I will, uh, I can take the criticism. So if you wanna send it, send it. I will be happy to respond. We can talk in person. We can talk about my point of view. We can talk about your point of view. I'm fine with that. Um, you know, I'm not over here sitting saying I'm perfect, but you know, I'm just doing the best I can with what I got. So thanks a bunch everybody. Like, share, comment, uh, follow us on Instagram. Really appreciate all the support and we'll have another video for you soon. So talk to you guys soon.